Hi, I want to talk to you guys today about a new test that we're offering at Whole Family Medicine. We are often asked, um, what diet should I be eating? Or what's the best kind of exercise? And that is a very, the answer to that is highly individualized. And I have always been able to say, well, you know, most people do very well on a Mediterranean style diet. That's predominantly fruits and vegetables, whole grains, nuts, seeds, healthy protein, a little bit of dairy, moderation on sweets, and most people do really well with that. Um, there are some patients we've seen through time that do better on vegetarian diets or on paleo, but just looking at you and the labs that we do, it's very difficult for us to answer that question, like exactly what mix of carbs and fats and protein is best for you. Um, we also know that there are different types of exercise that are helpful, but exactly how, how much you should be focusing on muscle building versus aerobics versus um, sprinting type exercises um, has been kind of difficult to say. Just, you know, exercise some every day is kind of as, as specific as I feel like I've been able to get. So I've been looking at, for a long time, um, ways to try and get at this that I believe have validity. And we have just decided to start using a device called Pinoe, P-N-O-E. It is a device that measures your utilization of oxygen and how much CO2 you're creating given the amount of oxygen that you're using. There are two different tests we can do with this device. The first is a resting test, which we are able to do very easily in our office. Um, it is a test that measures how, much, how many calories you are burning in the resting state and um, whether or not you're burning mostly fats or mostly carbohydrates when you come in in the fasting state. With that information, the um, the nutritionists that work for the Pinoe company are able to determine your mac your ideal macronutrient balance, what would push you more into um, fat burning or more energy efficient or increase your basal metabolic rate, um, which is mostly important for weight and maintenance, but it's also important for longevity and for weight loss if that's a goal that you have. Um, for um, an added fee, um, you can also get a three-month, very personalized dietary plan, a nutritional plan that is designed to meet your specific micronutrient, macronutrient needs, um, that comes with recipes, it comes with shopping lists, it's very thorough, and it's a three-month program. Um, and I think that that is the the best we can do to match where you are with where you want to be. And those, those programs are designed based around your goals, whether it's maintenance of health, longevity, or performance, athletic performance, or weight loss. Um, the second test we can do with the device is actually, I'm, I just find it very fascinating and excited about it. It's an exercise test, and you wear the, the oxygen utilization mask, and it, it measures, among other things, it determines your the maximum rate that you currently can utilize oxygen. And that, that measure, your VO2 max, a ventilatory oxygen utilization maximum, is a, a very strong predictor of your longevity. Um, in addition to that, which is, I think, fascinating and interesting in and of itself, but maybe not worth doing the test for. It also says the heart rate at which you are maximally burning fat. And it also kind of compares you on an age, uh, to other people your age, like how well are you doing in terms of cardiovascular fitness, in terms of respiratory fitness, in terms of movement um, efficiency, how well are you utilizing energy at each stage of exercise intensity, um, and then d can determine from that a very personalized exercise regimen for you. How many days a week should you be lifting weights versus doing high intensity intervals versus doing long, slow? And depending on your goals and depending on where you start from, those answers are very different. 
Like I personally learned that I'm maximally burning fat when my heart rate is 135 beats per minute. And so I got one of these pulse monitors and I did my usual walk. And it is very rare that my heart rate actually gets to 135 beats per minute. So I've been working to figure out how to modify what I'm already doing to make it maximally efficient for me. Um, Cause I'm all about what's the least I can do. What's the best bang for the buck? Cause I'm gonna do something I want to get the most out of it that I can. The other thing that I've been motivated by this test to increase is my um, interval training. It is not something that I'm drawn to. I don't really like to do it. Um, but this made it clear that if I did that, I would get more longevity bonus points. And I like a, I like bonus points. So um, that has been a motivator for me. So I'm really excited to be rolling this into the practice. There is a small added fee for members. Each test just for the data at this point will be uh, $50 for each part of that test. And then if you want um, the, the diet program or you want to speak with one of the nutrition or exercise specialists that they have through Panoe, there's an added fee for that. But we can go through those details. Um, but Susan and I feel very comfortable helping you understand your basic test results and use, help you using them to, to implement changes in a very personalized, very directed way. So if you're interested in doing this, please give us a call and we will figure out how to get you scheduled. I am working now with two um, personal trainers in the area who are going to do, do the exercise part for us. So there'll be a little coordination there, but I think it's going to go very smoothly. And I'm, I'm looking forward to working with people with it because I think it's going to be really helpful. All right. Um, I hope you have a great December and I will be back with you soon, I hope.